Hey lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So a couple of years ago, I have created a tutorial for attic spaces. And in this video, I had built a house and recently I've received a comment asking if I could build a similar house, just like the one that I had created in my tutorial back in the day. So I felt super inspired by that comment. So thank you so much for commenting about the tutorial and attic houses. So I created a attic loft. I built this in San Mishuno and it's different from the one that I had created in the tutorial back then but it is a proper attic house and it's functional. I've used a couple of new tricks for this and I'm just so excited to show you this build. So I want to say right off the bat this is CC free. It's unmodded in the gallery. I'm using the tool mod by Tristep Maxi for some things but it's unmodded because you don't need the mod to grab this build from the gallery. Also, all the stuff that I'm doing here using the mod, this is just for decorative purposes. So the whole thing itself, the attic and the whole idea behind it, you don't need any mods for this, not even any cheats. You can just recreate this. And I'm also going to link my tutorial in the description box. I'm also going to pin it in a comment so you can check out the tutorial. So here, for example, I just rotated some pristine pedestals and this is just for decorative purposes. You don't need this. And here I'm using an island living glass floor which I have also rotated. You could even use a regular window from Snowy Escape for this. So this is just about some details making it look extra fancy but the whole attic thing, the whole functional attic, you don't need any mods for this. And yeah, unmodded NCC free in the gallery. So the whole idea behind this is using half gabled roofs to turn this into a proper attic space and you can turn the, the walls down and then the whole area is visible and you can navigate your sim. As you've seen in the very beginning, it's fully furnished. There is a bed below one of the windows or glass roofs in this case, for example, and it's fully functional. If you recreate this, you always have to make sure where to place the furniture right below your glass roofs, because if it's too close to the glass roof, sometimes it's like not accessible for your sim. So you have to find that sweet spot. But this is really easy, actually, especially if you like to use move objects for example you can really find that perfect spot and it's fully functional also when it comes to my original tutorial from back in the day the issue was that the light on the inside in the attic was outdoor light so this is a problem your sims aren't affected by weather when they are in the attic either way but the light situation was really bothering me so I wanted to use a trick to fix this and I actually did this in this build so here in this attic no outdoor light it's fully closed normal light on the inside it's really a proper fully closed inside space for this, I've used a trick that I've used for another build a while ago. I think it was after the industrial loft kit came out. And the idea is to simply use a wall to close off the area at the half gabled roofs and then you use a doorway for example and if you are into using the tool mod you can use the tool mod to scale down your doorway so they are really small and you don't see them anymore or you could use the big one from journey to batu it's in debug I think I'm not even sure but there's this gigantic doorway and you could adjust the gaps in between your half gabled roofs and like the the whole area where you have a glass roof or window just so it fits you will later see what I'm talking about but this way I was able to fully close this so it's functional and there aren't any issues I know that a lot of people really liked the method and a lot of people were really impressed with the tutorial and just had so much fun recreating addicts. But I know that this was kind of a main concern, the whole light situation. So I really wanted to find a fix. Maybe if you want to, I could make an updated version for the tutorial. I don't know. And I'm really happy with how this turned out. So this build is essentially for one sim. It's a loft. It's really open. The bed is just at the top below a window. And then it's like really open on the inside, uh, just using fences. And you will see what I'm talking about. And it's just a really fancy bachelor home, essentially, I guess. 
And here I just created a really fancy decoration using a debug wood piece. The wood plank is part of the base game and I've just rotated it using tool and I've noticed something. When you attach this wood plank to a roof, it just kind of switches to the angle of the roof, which is really helpful. So you can use this object to easily decorate a roof technically. I have no idea if this is new of this if this is like something that has been always this way, I'm not really sure. And here I'm adding a balcony. So there are lots of outdoor areas. I mean, it's a penthouse after all. I'm also going to add a pool, so it's really fancy. And I just wanted this to be really sun flooded. There are so many windows and just these glass roofs from Island Living. There is like so much light and it's really dark. It has a industrial vibe, but at the same time, I wanted this to look really bright and happy and sun flooded. Also, I want to give an update about the whole Weddings for Russia situation. I've talked about this in my last video and in case you are out of the loop, there is an update. The pack was postponed and everyone will receive the pack, which is absolutely amazing. I've talked about this in my last video. I was really rooting for everyone to be able to play the pack and I've like explained that the situation is really confusing. It's still a bit confusing because now they have said that after really properly checking, they've noticed that it's not an issue after all and everyone can get the pack, which is confusing, but I'm just happy that everyone will get to enjoy the pack and I'm also totally fine with the pack being postponed a bit. I'm just really ready for the pack. I'm also going to create content using the new pack. I wasn't really sure if I wanted to buy it because of the situation. I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But now that everything is resolved, I'm really happy. I'm going to get the pack. I'm going to create content using the new pack. We are going to build in the new world. I'm going to create some wedding venues and some fine stuff. And I'm just really excited for this. I hope you're excited as well. So very soon you will get some content about the My Wedding Stories pack on this channel. And I'm just so happy that everything is resolved. It shows that taking a stand and just voicing your opinion, using your voice matters. And I'm not talking about me here, but I'm talking about the whole Russian community, which has spoken up and, and I'm just happy that everything is good now and we can just now move on and we can just enjoy the pack and the content. And I'm just really excited. I just wanted to say this because now this chapter is kind of closed and we can move on and I'm just really happy. Here I'm opening up a part of the ceiling because I really wanted this to be a loft. And at some point while building this, I realized that it's not open enough for a loft because I had the area at the top, the whole attic area, and then I had a really spacious area below where I'm going to build the kitchen and everything. But I just realized that I have to open up a part of the floor to turn this into a proper loft. So you have this really open feeling. So that's what I did. And I have to admit, after all these years of building, I always struggle when, whenever I want to open up the floor. I mean, it's easy in theory, but roofs start to act very weird and it's like really confusing. Whenever I'm doing this, also when I'm building some stairs and I want to build the, want to open up the area at the top, I don't know, confusing things happen. And I really like to avoid, avoid it sometimes, but here everything was working out fine. I don't know, it's just confusing for me. So here I'm furnishing and I'm going to change this up in a second. At first I started to build the bathroom on this side, then I'm going to move it to the other side and I'm actually also going to make the whole window area a bit bigger. So I was making so many adjustments. This part of the build was kind of confusing. I really wanted this to be perfect and I wasn't really sure how to build this, how to design this. But here you already see how lovely it is that when you have a bed below the glass roof and it's functional. So it's just really dreamy and really cool. And I also placed lots of these glass floors at the top to make it even more open and more like a loft kind of. So it's very connected, very open. There's no privacy in this house, <laughs> I have to say. So it's really just for one sim or, or a couple. This is not like a proper family home or anything. It's really just a fancy build for one or two sims, as I've explained earlier. And here you can see how I'm switching things up. I turned this into a really small living room area. There will be a proper living room at the bottom, but I also wanted to have 
this type of area at the top, including an office space. I just had to fill all these different areas and I had no idea what to do at first. And I've also placed some NoCC gallery art. You will find the gallery IDs in the description and I'm also going to tag them in the gallery upload. So here, this is just an office space. I really wanted to make use of this whole, uh, uh, just of these windows, these angled windows, these skylights. I really wanted to place lots of stuff below. So it's like really cool and fun. And then I started to work on the area at the bottom. I've placed an elevator and I remember for one of my industrial loft builds, a penthouse, I don't know, after the kit came out a while ago, I forgot to record the part where I placed the elevator or I edited it out. I don't remember. And I've received so many comments. Okay, but where's the, the elevator? The Sims aren't able to get into the penthouse. The thing is, it's a requirement. You can't even save the game unless you add an elevator, a bin and a mailbox. <laughs> so it's basically impossible to forget the elevator. But I hadn't included it in the video and lots of Simmers were like, okay, but it's not functional as the elevator. So I made sure to really record this this time. So there's an elevator. All is good. Everyone is happy and safe in this house. This is the kitchen. I wanted to have a contrast. Everything is so dark and I wanted to have a white, beautiful kitchen. And I have to admit, after the Dream Home Decorator pack came out, I've, I think I, I'm always using this kitchen and I think I have to stop, but I don't know how I can't <laughs> like sometimes. A lot of you know this, whenever a pack comes out and I really fall in love with an item, I use it all over. I'm still recovering from using the rug from the Nifty Knitting Pack too much. I'm still trying to stop myself because I've used it in every single build ever since the kit came out, I think. It sometimes happens. And I also feel like I've developed a weird attachment to this this shelf thingy from Dream Home Decorator, but it just looks so beautiful. I'm so, I, I love the pack so much. I've used the round bar from Journey to Batu. Journey to Batu is not liked by many simmers. It's a really controversial pack and a lot of people don't like it. But whenever I'm using this bar, everyone is like, oh my gosh, a round bar, where is it from? I want it. And I'm like, Journey to Batu, and everyone is like, oh no. Yes, Journey to Batu has some really great build by objects. I can totally recommend it. Even if you don't like the gameplay aspect, and I know that a lot of things ran wrong in this pack, but there are really cool industrial objects, kind of. Like, you can really use a lot of stuff from Journey to B2 for a build like this. And a round bar is always fancy. You can use it for all kinds of different things. So, I really like to use it. No shame in my game. <laughs> I really like to use Journey to B2, to be honest. This is the bathroom. There's only one. I made it extra fancy. I've also used the snowy escape windows to make a really fancy walk-in shower. For a house like this or a build like this, you just need a really spacious bathroom or it doesn't make sense. And also, unfortunately, the bed is at the top and the bathroom is down here, but you just have to make some sacrifices when it comes to a build like this, a floor plan like this. I could have integrated a bathroom at the top, but I wanted to have these balconies on both sides and then there wasn't enough space left, sadly. I hope that it's still fine. And here I'm adding a living room corner. I've used the sofa from Dream Home Decorator and it's like really huge. And then I added a wall because I realized I need a TV in the center right in front of the sofa. And I then also changed the placement of the door for the bathroom so it all makes sense. And this way your sims can actually reach the bathroom much quicker from the top. So I kind of fixed it, I guess. I've used the same shelves again and I'm now about to work on the exterior. So I wanted to keep it simple. There's a lot going on already, but I wanted to have a pool on the outside, an area to sit. And I just wanted this to be really fancy so your sims can have a swim, a party in the garden, they can have a barbecue, they can overlook San Michuno. So this is supposed to be a proper penthouse after all. And this video is slowly coming to an end. I hope 
you've enjoyed this video. You can here see lots of screenshots. This build is available in the gallery. My ID is Kate Emerald. It's CC free and unmodded. I've used the tool mod, but you don't need the tool mod to download this from the gallery. Everything will still be in place and where it's supposed to be and angled and everything, but you won't need the mod. It's also available for console. We now share one gallery, which is amazing. So you can just wrap this on PC console. It doesn't matter. And now it's time to thank my wonderful Emerald Patreons. A big thank you to Asia, Dawn Bryce, Rishka MD, Sarah Diaz, Saturated Spark, Shanna McClam, Telena Lynn, Two Kids Tailoring, and Victoria Smithies. Thank you so much for your huge support. Thank you to all my other Patreons. Thank you to anyone who watches my videos. I love you all so much and appreciate your support. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you are doing so well. I wish you a perfect week and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.